Hello and welcome to Cloud Tech Talks. This is Pritesh. I'm back with another video. This video is about uh, how to price Terraform. So in the last video, we uh, understood what the advantages, the use cases for Terraform are. And uh, in today's video is more relevant for someone who's looking to pitch this as a solution to the customer or a customer who wants to understand what are the determining factors uh, for Terraform Enterprise as a solution uh, as far as its price point is concerned. So let's get started. So remember, this uh, video is about pricing Terraform Enterprise. Uh, there is also a cloud version for Terraform, but I'll take that up in a, in a different video, different discussion. Uh, uh, Essentially, when you talk about Terraform Enterprise, it is the on-premise version of Terraform, allows you to install Terraform inside your own environment instead of using it as a public cloud or a SaaS-based solution, right? Um, so the first point uh, that determines Terraform Enterprise pricing is the number of workspaces. Workspaces, uh, uh, essentially in Kubernetes, uh, uh, is nothing but a state file, right? Uh, so anybody who has access to Kubernetes understand what it's about would know what a workspace means because it's essentially the number of state files in a given environment. This is the principal determining factor for Terraform Enterprise because that is how Terraform will know uh, uh, how much of uh, you know workflow, how much of uh, automation that an infrastructure as code needs to be implemented as far as workspaces are concerned in a specific environment for Kubernetes. So point number one, workspaces. Point number two, it's essentially the platform itself, right? So platform is essentially the, the baseline pricing uh, determining factor for Terraform. This is a mandatory one, so there is no uh, a removal, removal of platform pricing from any uh, Terraform uh, uh, module, but what what it uh, does come with is add-ons, and that add-on, those add-ons is what I'm going to uh, talk about shortly. So, platform is essentially the Terraform Enterprise platform, uh, the baseline for the pricing itself for the number of workspaces that exist in that environment. The third determining factor is self-service. Now, in the previous video, we spoke about this as a use case. If you want Terraform to do establish that self-service infrastructure for you and you want that capability as far as Terraform Enterprise is concerned, then you need self-service as a module and this will come as an add-on cost to your overall Terraform Enterprise uh, pricing. Next one is policy and governance. So this is also one of the uh, key uh, add-ons to Terraform Enterprise. It helps you determine what kind of policy, what kind of governance and compliance measures you want to enforce on the users and uh, the advanced capabilities that you want to leverage from Terraform Enterprise. So to give you an example, it could be things like uh, a single sign-on uh, for you to be able to achieve it across different applications that you're using. Um, also. Uh, uh, being able to audit log everything that you do, uh, specific cost optimize, uh, cost uh, optimization features, uh, determining where you are spending uh, your money as far as your infrastructure provisioning is concerned. So those specific uh, features are only available with the uh, policy and governance and the self service modules. So depending on what you need. Uh, you need to pick and choose from the from the overall uh, product uh, feature set for Terraform Enterprise. And last but not the least is essentially the support uh, level that you are asking for as far as uh, Terraform Enterprise is concerned. Again, like every other uh, HashiCorp solution, there is gold, silver and bronze determining the different levels of SLAs, severity levels as well as uh, the kind of support, whether it's 24 by 7 or uh, Monday to Friday, uh, uh, and the number of working hours that they will support you for during that time frame. So this essentially is a summary of how Terraform uh, Enterprise is uh, uh, priced. I will link uh, a couple of product briefs uh, and enterprise packaging documents which will allow you to understand how one can uh, you know, pick and choose the kind of features and the functionalities you need and decide on whether which which of these add-ons are right for you and effectively come to a 
conclusion on how much it's going to cost for you as a solution as far as terraform enterprise is concerned so this is what i had for today hopefully this is uh, useful and uh, until next time this is pritesh signing off from cloud tech talks thank you